jeito de mosquitar no tapajós. Why are these indigenous leaders so angry at Cargill? Welcome back to Bad Karma. A series in which we pull back the curtain on the Cargill Macmillan family, one of the richest and most powerful in the world, yet also single-handedly responsible for more deforestation than any other family. On today's episode, we'll weigh up their big promise at COP with their actions on the ground. Remember the Cargill Macmillans, owners of the agribusiness company Cargill? There are not too many photos of them online because they are notoriously private. You would be too if your company was labeled as the worst company in the world due to its destruction of ecosystems like the Amazon and the Sahadu to grow soy for animal feed in Europe and China. Last month at COP, the Cargill family took a big step towards repairing their bad karma. Their company Cargill committed to ending the destruction not only of forests like the Amazon, but other critical ecosystems like the Cerrado and the Pantanal in Brazil, Argentina and Uruguay by 2025. Huge, right? So then why are indigenous groups still angry? É o um projeto de mosquita no Tapajós. É o O que a gente precisa nesse país é criar, né, senador, um meio-termo que proteja vocês e proteja a produção. Não é isso, senador? Deixa que falar, produção? Né? Deixa... Produção Escuta. de morte? Escuta. Não, produção não, de morte isso aqui, né? Você, você pode produção escutar. que vai expulsar nossos você filhos. Because Cargill, despite their big promise, have not yet withdrawn their support for the Ferro Grão, a proposed mega freight railway project that would cut through the heart of the Amazon. Ferrovia é um projeto de desenvolvimento que vai ser bom para todo mundo. Para vocês. Não, senhora. Para quem tem dinheiro. Escuta, a questão é ecológica. Vocês pintam soja? Não. 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 Ah. Parei que vocês comem soja. Não. Quem é que come soja aqui? São eles aí. São pessoas. Olha só, boi, galinha. The proposed 1,000-kilometer railway designed to transport soy to northern ports will impact six indigenous territories, including those of the Munduruku, Panara, Kayapo, and Xingu indigenous land. If built, it would destroy 800 square miles of Amazon primary rainforest. That's an area 14 times the size of Cargill's hometown of Minneapolis, including lands that are currently federally protected as indigenous territory. The roads built in order to complete this project will open these lands up to more land grabbers and illegal miners and loggers who already invade and burn and murder those who seek to protect it. No wonder indigenous people are so angry. The Cargill Macmillan family have a moral duty to live up to their grand promise of zero deforestation. But given the company's history of repeatedly making and breaking promises, it's hard not to be skeptical. And like all New Year's resolutions, the proof will be in the days and months that follow. To the Cargill Macmillan family, I say, withdrawing your support for the Ferro Grill would be a huge step in the right direction and would signal to the world that you plan on keeping your word. Why not be the family that changed the course of history and became leaders in conservation rather than destruction?